Hi, I'm Stephen with Alberta Urban Garden.ca. On today's episode, I'm going to look back at the 2014 goals that I'd set and set some 2015 goals for the channel and for my garden. So my first goal was to increase production in my garden area. As you all know, my garden area is fenced within a fence, so I have a defined space. So in order to maximize this space, I took a part one bed and I built some perimeter beds around the garden to increase this the square meterage of soil. The second technique that I used is I went vertical. I enlisted the help of my father and my grandfather and I built a grape trellis, allowing us to grow the grapes vertically and to free up a lot of space on the ground for other plants to companion plant and to maximize the usage. The third technique that I used was I changed the way I plant some of my crops. Much like many of you, I started with Mel Bartholomew's Square Foot Gardening recommendations on how and where to plant your crops. And from there, I took the evidence that I saw from my garden from year to year to year, and I made some changes. For instance, basil. I don't plant 16 per square foot. What I do is I just broadcast seed it. And what that allows me to do is harvest what I need. Some of it goes to flower and hopefully throughout the years it'll just become uh, 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 sow and reseed itself so that I don't have to do anything. The other thing that I did is I took a little bit more time to look at succession planting. So I planted things like a melon plant that will take over over the summer, but I planted radishes in with it, some peas in with it. Those crops were long gone by the time that melon needed that space, but it allowed me to increase the effectiveness of the production of that area. So overall, goal one, I'm going to call it a big success. Although I don't have any uh, evidence, as my son has free snacking range in the summer, I didn't collect, you know, kilograms of, of produce, but anecdotally, I'm very confident that I definitely increased the amount of production coming out of my garden. My second goal of 2014 was to add more perennials to my garden. As it would happen, I gravitated towards the development of an orchard by adding two more grapes to my already two varieties of heirloom grapes, three blueberry varieties, a goji berry, and two more honeyberry varieties to my garden. Needless to say, I call this a success and an ongoing project because perennials are probably one of the best investments you can make in your garden because they keep on producing crops for years to come. My third goal in 2014 was to participate in the home garden field trials. And as you know, I think this was probably my biggest success this year. We had some extremely interesting results that not many of us expected, and we have a lot more to do. So what we've actually done is we've continued to submit samples to the lab to chase down that evidence to see if we can answer some of these questions that we now have. My fourth goal was to extend my season. Now, I wasn't able to harvest my leafy greens into the, uh, the depths of winter like I had hoped, but I learned a lot of valuable lessons that should help me improve my technique in years to come. And as an added benefit, I should be able to harvest earlier in the spring when the sun returns to my garden and the plants break dormancy. My fifth and final goal in 2014 was to try new things. And both of the garden and YouTube, I think I far exceeded what my expectations were, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Now on to my 2015 goals. The first one is a new and interesting one. It's the Frugal Garden Challenge. Along with Hugh and Patrick, I'm going to use frugal gardening as a cornerstone to the 2015 season. As you know, I'm testing some of my garden assumptions and hope to provide evidence that can show you that not only can gardening be cost effective, but it can produce absolutely great results. My second goal is to increase the diversity of crops within the garden. Instead of focusing so much on production, of course, I will focus on increasing the production just like we all do. I want to focus on increasing the diversity of crops that I have that are not only kid friendly for my son and his friends, but my wife and I have been experimenting with canning and pickling, and we want to increase the number of things that we can actually use from the garden in that endeavor in the fall. My third goal in 2015 is a carryover from 2014, is to increase the number of perennials in my garden. Although I think I've got a good head start, the work is not done yet. So what I want to do is I actually want to add another type of berry, say a lingonberry, to 
to my garden underneath the grapes to further increase the production of that zone. The other thing I want to start to add is perennial herbs and really any other perennial that I can, I can fit in there and that fits with my, my plan and what we actually use. As always, suggestions are welcome, so pop them in the comment section below and I'll have a look. My fourth goal of 2015 will be to continue and expand the home garden field trials. So I'm going to be joining Patrick's Compost Tea Trial this year. And to add to that, I'm going to expand and continue the rock dust and biochar trials. How I'm going to expand to it is a common theme that's come up is the fact that these products may not react well in superior soil. So I'm going to be working with a prairie urban farm that's associated with the University of Alberta to expand the plots and add some poor soil trial locations for both rock dust and biochar and their control so that we can understand how these products really react in a real world situation under poor soil conditions. Just like last year, goal number five will be to try new things. I think it's important to continue learning. A great place to start is to try new things in your garden. All of the related episodes to the 2014 goals are in the description below. Thank you for spending time with me in 2014, and I look forward to spending time with you in 2015.